Hello and welcome to my Camp NaNoWriMo video series, which I'm still calling Alice Goes to Camp. Title going strong and it's edited into the visuals of the last two videos, so there's actually no going back. So today I'm going to be doing another tag, like I said, uh, but this one is the Work in Progress tag, which I got from Jenna the Dark One. I will link that down there. So now you actually get to learn about the thing that I am writing. Let's just get right into it, I guess. Question number one. What is the working title of your book? Tiny House. Question number two. Where did the idea for your book come from? I watched a ton of this show called Tiny House Nation, which is sort of like Extreme Makeover Home Edition, but instead of like building a fancy house for like a poor family, they build like this tiny little house for people who are just like too rich for their own good and they're like, I just want to have as little space as possible. It's ridiculous. Question number three. What genre does your book fall under? I don't really know, but the closest description I've been able to come up with for it is slightly creepy queer plus adventure novel. So if that tells you anything. Question number four. What actors would you like to play characters in the movie version of your book? So I don't actually know of any trans actresses in the age range to play my protagonist, Cherry, and I couldn't really figure out who I would want to play the other protagonist, Louise, but I decided that the main villain guy could be played by John Goodman, and one of the other characters, Azure, who's like a witch, and you learn about her more obviously in the book, but she could be played by Jamie Clayton. Um, it's really hard to cast a book. Question number five. What is a one sentence synopsis of your book? Okay, this is what I wrote. Cherry and her girlfriend Louise pull a tiny house through a country populated by seven foot tall crickets, twisted marionettes, and a magic porcelain train. Question number six. Will you self-publish or be represented by an agency? I don't know. I haven't even started the official draft. That's a big question. I don't actually think I can think of anybody who would want to market this. I don't know if I'll want to market it. It'll be my first, like, completed novel. So that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the thing that I actually want to, like, put out into the world. I just want to have finished a novel. But I mean, I'd always be open to having a book out on bookshelves. That would be fantastic. And I think it would be cool to self-publish, but I would have to give it a lot of thought and have, like, a very concrete plan on how I was going to go about that. Question number six. How long did it take you to write your manuscript? It's going to take one month. That's the plan with the whole Camp NaNoWriMo thing. Question number seven. What other books would you compare your story to? So I can't really think of anything in the exact same like genre or area of it as far as books go. It takes a lot of like inspiration and like thematic influence and stuff from Pinocchio and The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, but it's definitely a lot darker, but not like a dark YA, more like the twisted, sun-dried genre of Alice Isn't Dead, the podcast by Night Vale Presents. If anybody has any suggestions of books that are sort of like Alice Isn't Dead, then I would be happy to hear them. Question number nine, who and what inspired you to write this book? I mean, a lot of things. It's just been an idea in my head for a little while that I've just been sort of ruminating on, and I started to take notes and put things down and then I decided to actually do something with it. Question number 10. What else about your book might pique a reader's interests? It's weird and gay. I don't know. If you like like creepy stuff, it might be good. I and mean, it's only gonna be like a hundred pages, so it would be a quick read. I don't really know. Anyways, that's it for this video on the work in progress tag by Jenna the Dark One. Again, link for that is down below in the description. I'll be back again next week with a video about my main character. It'll be another tag, but again, you'll be getting more about actually what my book's about. And then after that, Camp NaNoWriMo actually starts. And I have some sort of weird, fun video ideas planned for during the month of July. Thanks a ton for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Good luck in life, believe in yourself, and never give up.